Hello and welcome to today's video where we are going to compare a little bit again a, a scene here rendered in V-Ray uh, except today we'll have a little uh, we'll also compare with uh, the real thing as we have this beautiful uh, model here from the uh, Prague library so here that's that's the real uh, photo uh, as you can see and uh, I think this looks like it's been sort of heavily treated with um, uh, tone mapping or HDRI uh, however we call it so it's kind of fully <laughs> sort of in your face everything uh, being a little bit uh, overly detailed and uh, everything kind of exposed uh, which is a, a choice and it's fine I don't particularly find it uh, particularly attractive uh, myself but and here we have the V-Ray render which also uh, I am not entirely sure the choice behind this sort of a, a greeny uh, tint here and I can see as I'm zooming in here that there's also a uh, depth of field effect which is really nice and uh, we'll, we'll maybe we'll cover that in another video uh, to, to how, how to achieve that so this is the real thing this is the V-Ray render and we have here in the background so I'll try and keep those uh, in on my screen a little bit um, to compare here and we have obviously the V uh, the um, Unreal in the background here, uh, seen through a camera. So I'll kind of just take you around a little bit just to marvel at the amount of detail that we are able to show. And I'll kind of go full screen here as well uh, to show that we have, uh, again, this was very, very simply imported using uh, using Datasmith. So as uh, a sort of one button kind of export. Uh, obviously, we're still in the preview mode. So we've got some issues here that I've noticed mainly in full screen mode. These are not uh, two side, uh, double sided um, uh, sort of Coplanar faces issues, which we've uh, encountered, well, I've encountered for many, many years in my career. Uh, I think these are purely sort of lumen issues, which uh, tend to happen when we go on to full screen here. One thing that's really worth noticing is how grounded the objects are by default, even in the uh, shadow um, side here so usually we kind of have the the shadow coming from uh, from the external lights that give us this sort of nice shadows but here usually very often in the shadow when the um, object is already in the shadow we kind of lack the uh, the grounding the the contact shadows which look like things are a little bit floating so we this seems to have been really really well resolved uh, I guess with a um, with the the ambient occlusion that's kind of um, much much better than it used to be again the amazing detail that we can have all every single book is here represented and i did enable for this the nanite um, technology here and that's very 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 simply enabled all here uh, in the nanite so there were quite a few issues with uh, the materials nothing too crazy um, that was nothing difficult or, or uh, um, you know that required any particular sort of heavy uh, editing and again just a really really uh, marvelous marvelous amount of detail here so what's uh, uh, again the, the the I think what this sort of technology now uh, enables us to to do is to start to explore all the different atmospheres that we can have uh, in real time and to start to maybe move away a little bit from the kind of what I was almost qualify as a kind of a bit of a lie when we start photoshopping and kind of taking a particular angle with these sort of ultra wide angle with perspective correction which um, you completely distort the buildings and um, and then we sort of show only one image of, of a of an interior of a building in its in its best light it's a little bit like 
uh, uh, we're kind of cheating and uh, uh, taking angles which are not really that realistic. So here we have the opportunity to begin to explore a little bit like uh, in in a sort of a theatrical manner maybe to sort of enhance and play with the lighting and uh, and to explore what things would feel like under certain different conditions. So here for example we're able to kind of completely uh, turn these off in real time and I, I, all I'm doing is just hiding the lights here so again there's just nothing uh, nothing um, wizardy about, about it and um, if I hide these completely and start again we can sort of start uh, opening here uh, using the skylight that I've just added a, a very uh, basic HDRI in it and um, and then we can add again these sort of uh, directional light here. So I wouldn't recommend uh, this kind of setup here for a uh, type of building like this because obviously here uh, the direct sunlight will create an incredible amount of damage uh, over the years, over the maybe hundreds of years. Uh, so this is something that we'll definitely avoid and obviously here there's nothing outside which would occlude the sunlight in here. But we still have this absolutely beautiful reflected light here on the ceiling and uh, the ability to tweak this absolutely in real time. So here if I kind of go back to uh, my original setup here with these uh, this different setup and I'll do another video um, it, with uh, with a kind of describing a little bit more the uh, the lighting in here we can start to use the exponential height fog here to give a kind of a more of a mysterious kind of a maybe more movie like atmosphere and to start to uh, to maybe just play around a little bit with the uh, exposure to uh, to see a little bit more so you can see that again this is really it's becoming incredibly easy to start exploring different atmosphere different feelings uh, that the uh, that we can ex have in the space and um maybe different times of the day and to start to to even just kind of design you know if we're, if we're doing architecture or events or or, or theater or, or things like that really to um, start uh, visualizing what reality will be like rather than uh, kind of giving this sort of uh, illusion of almost like an advert you know of of what the uh, what things will feel like uh, and, and in any way kind of uh, fool the customer you know <laughs> to buy before it's built uh, uh, this has been my um, what I've tried to do throughout my my career and I'm really really excited to uh, start to kind of work this way and so here we'll we'll take out the uh, the height fog here again and so we'll maybe start playing around with the exposure again um, if I find my camera uh, and then kind of to just to uh, uh, adjust that a little bit. So very, very, very exciting times yet again. How many times have we heard that? But again, as I'm sort of exploring the capacities and the, 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 uh, um, the opportunities that we have to now work in this, this different uh, uh, medium, almost this uh, different new ways. I'll go again a little bit full screen to just show you uh, the kind of frame rate that I'm getting here. I've got a 2080 Ti as a as a, a graphics card, so nothing too crazy. And we're just about beginning 20, 25 frames a second. It would qualify as a, a, a real time still, but we are definitely going to start experiencing uh, slowdowns and uh, limitations uh, of the technology here as we have quite a heavy heavy scene here uh, and when we display it full screen so it's not going to be uh, the end of of you know learning and the technical kind of uh, um uh, uh, restraints of having to do light maps and pre-baking and so on but uh, definitely this this the, the chance to be able to to play with this in real time so I've uh, created a, a file for you to download and uh, um, experience on, on your own on, uh, at home on your la on your computer. And so feel free to click on the link below, and uh, you, uh, you you can enter your email address, and then I'll send you a link to that file, and you can uh, play with it and experience it for yourself. 
and uh, I look forward to seeing you again and next time we'll do a little bit more of a breakdown and uh, describe uh, a little bit more behind the scenes. So that's it for me today and I'll see you next time.